how crazy it is to be you know back with your family during the christmas holidays and how how kind of not dramatic or how how chaotic it can get in a very short space of time all it takes is a couple of topics that are a little bit racy or a little bit controversial or are in the public consciousness or are in part of culture at the moment and then suddenly everybody just erupts into a cacophony of just outrage and you know finger pointing and maybe some indirect insults you know how it is right but you never probably go as far as thinking oh you know what this day is the day i'm gonna go and shoot my parents right you never really think about that i'm gonna shoot my family members or extended family but for whatever reason this guy in new york thought that that he, he he definitely thought like that and he did it so this is courtesy of the new york post it says the following a son who shot parents um in their li mansion on christmas is a new york city bodybuilder cops report so this dude here um as he's pictured called uh dino tomasetti for whatever reason got in some sort of hot and bother argument with his parents that he decided to shoot them and from what we can gather it looks like he might be the only child so that was makes it even more insane because usually i found the more the more kind of um tense the atmosphere is usually kind of yeah the tense i found usually especially when it comes to christmas holidays the only times I've seen arguments and fights has usually been when all of my family are there, my extended family, so my brothers and my parents, and then when extended family members are there, uncles, aunties, cousins, and nieces and nephews and whatnot, right? Because it's just more people. There's going to be varying amounts of, you know, points of views, and they're just going to go for it from the minute one. But if you're a single, if, you, if, you, if you're the only child, right, and your parents are pretty chill, especially, I'd imagine, I don't know, parents that live in that sort of neighborhood are maybe quite chill you might be you might share the same sort of political views and whatnot especially considering the way he looks you wouldn't imagine he's the most liberal guy if his parents are conservative or whatnot what would there be points to you to get really angry about right maybe apart from your allowance or maybe them bugging you that you haven't got a kid or they haven't got a family or you're not married i can't really see any other points where it would be such an issue that they'd want to you want to get to a point where you'd want to kind of shoot them in the head unless they just completely didn't agree with your lifestyle maybe they didn't like the fact that he was a bodybuilder and he might or he might have or did not take roids i don't know but it just seems weird that a single parent a kid that's from an only a kid that's a kid that's the only kid in a family right would also be the one that would also go that far to that shoot his parents because you'd imagine you'd be closer to one of them so you'd have a maybe some maternal closeness with your mum or it's a dad closest because you know you want to kind of emulate him in the family business or you want to emulate him in life but i would never assume that there'd be that much tension within a one child household that he would come to a point where he'd want to blam both of the parents like it's mad it's absolutely mad so the following it says um the man who allegedly shot his parents um at their long island mansion christmas morning was identified sunday as 29 year old bodybuilder from brooklyn according to cops in the report the pumped up dino tomasi to sorry tomasetti is accused of shooting his 65 year old father in the back and 65 year old 64 year old mother in the head at their uh, tony hewlett harbor home at about 10 a.m on saturday um according to the nasu county cops the home looks absolutely amazing too of course it's a mcmansion but still it's a beautiful home they probably they've got two garage two driveways there two sorry two garages connected um probably got 10 plus bedrooms maybe five right he probably has his own little wing his own little corner where he could basically you know sneak in girls if he wants to or lads wherever where he swings it's probably an easy life especially if he's 29 living at home you'd imagine he doesn't really want for much right he just kind of you know does what he needs to do maybe he's he's got like a direct line to his father's business or his mother's business whatever it may be but what would really drive a guy in that position to want to shoot his parents and again shooting your shooting your dad in the back that's some pussy shit in it like if you've got an issue with your father you're gonna shoot him in the face you gotta shoot him front f forward and then shoot your mom in the head that's also a madness i'm just thinking in my head like we've all come to i think we've all got to a point with our parents especially if you're older where you've kind of especially yeah especially when you get older you start to realize you start to look at your parents and your family members mostly as adults and less so as that authoritative figure that tells you what to do when you can go out what you can eat who you can talk to on the phone right they're mostly just adults and you just realize okay what one at one point in life you're also a child and you also made mistakes and you're also fallible not everything that you do is right not everything you do is perfect not everything you say is correct or whatever it may be um and you start to maybe not take a you know maybe you start to maybe disregard what they have to say you maybe start to be a little bit dismissive of their points of view you maybe just decide to kind of run away and go do your own thing but you don't necessarily get to the point i don't think in that position where you'd want to you know um 
enact violence to that point maybe you might want to get in a tussle with them right there's always that point people say where um in every man's life you get to a point where you want to just wrestle your dad to kind of prove that you're the man in the house which i don't really agree with. i don't think that happens all the time because especially in african households you do that in african household you might end up dead you know you might end up that meme you know that meme people do where you're you're, you're doing like some martial arts and then bam you suddenly wake up and you're in heaven that might be you if you try and scrap with an African parent. It's not going to end well for you. Especially, I'd imagine the same thing goes for like, you know, um, Hispanic parents, Asian parents. They don't play that game at all. They don't play this, oh, let me test myself again, my dad. You're going to get cut off completely. The whole family's going to excommunicate you. Even if you win, it's not going to be good for you. So I don't think that's the case, but yeah you might want to get angry yeah you might want to slam a door you might want to say shut up or something but to get to the point where you want to shoot clap your parents especially what well, so where's the gun was it does he have it on him all the time does he have to get it from a cabinet like and then he's pulling it cocking it back while his parents are screaming and still blaming them off the the mad thing is that they're both still alive i don't know why that is maybe he he's got one of those kind of pew pew um james bond's gun that they put in a sock or something or maybe he just shot them in a place where because I, I the gun thing i don't get because i like, maybe because i don't live in america but i don't understand how people just don't die instantly from getting gun from getting a gunshot um to the head or to the back like you just imagine all the organs around there especially the brain and stuff how are you still alive when you get shot like that it doesn't make any sense to me but you know hopefully they make a speedy recovery <coughs> But still, like I mentioned, I just don't get it, man. People that live in a lap of luxury like this, especially as I'm saying, like, I'm just thinking to myself now. Usually, again, maybe I'm 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 in the minority here and I'm just speaking out of turn, but from the way that I've grown up, right, in a fairly poor household, um, in a very rough neighborhood, I grew up with people that, you know, did some very questionable things in their life and just generally a chaotic environment. Those are usually the places where you think you might build up a little bit of resentment from your parents or no, towards your parents, towards your circumstances that would make you want to act out with your friends in school, at church, whatever, right? But you would imagine if you grew up in a lap of luxury, I don't think you want to act out in this way, not in a violent way. Maybe act out in terms of tapping into drugs or losing yourself in nightlife or relationships and stuff, right? I can understand that emotionally you might not be as connected as you, as you need to be with your parents because in order for them to make that money, they have to work crazy amounts of hours or they may have to be just distant in general, right? Or they're just brought up a different way. But you wouldn't imagine it would drive you to the point of that kind of violence, like, you know, elimination violence. Because that's what shooting is. Like I said, if it was a stabbing, that's also very personal but shooting is elimination that's why i think of it i don't think of shooting just like oh you're doing play play this isn't like i'm gonna shoot you in the leg like shoot someone in the leg and it hits an artery and you can still bleed out in it we've, we've seen that plenty of times before this whole thing in movies where you shoot someone in the kneecap and they're all right it's not true because they might not be able to walk again um or like you know what happened to boosie where he got shot in the leg and there were talks about them having to maybe amputate his leg do you know what i mean and that's a conversation too that was happening so i just i just can't picture in my head how that again i can understand especially after the christmas that i've had where you go back to your family's home and then you start talking about certain things and then it just explodes because you know people just we're all adults we have our point of view you can agree and disagree you just argue cool i get it and you get to a point where you want to be violent and you want to push somebody or say something aggressive but to get to a point to pull out a blammy yo that is some wild boy stuff wild boy stuff and i'd assume as well this isn't the first time they've gotten some sort of physical altercation i would imagine so you don't just go from arguing with your parents about not being allowed out at night and then suddenly pulling out a gun this definitely is something that's basically been cooking up in the background for a while i'd, I'd imagine so um or the other, only other thing I, th I can think of is roid rage maybe he just woke up one day and just acted out because of the gear he's taking or again like i said it might be something criminal like maybe he's maybe the i don't know maybe the family are tied up in some this like some some things that we don't know about and then he kind of acted out in that regard but just a straight up argument about i don't know whether or not trump lost the election fairly or something or um differing views about the capitol building flipping the um, insurrection i don't know i don't think that would be enough to send somebody to go and clap them i don't think so but hey um both victims identified by law enforcement new jersey office um this uh sorry uh rocco and vincenzo tomasetti had to undergo surgery for their wounds the father said to be more serious condition sources told the violence police is that what i'm saying so you're saying about guns don't make sense the guy the, the dad got shot in the back but he's in more critical he's in a worse condition than the wife is who got shot in the head like 
Mamma mia. Um, property records show that the mansion valued at 3.2 million, according to real estate, is owned by the couple. Again, if I, I don't get it. Uh, Dino, a 5'9", 235 pound muscle man, fled to New Jersey in a Cadillac Escalade after a shooting. Police sources confirmed. Um, sorry, police sources told The Voice. Five foot nine, two hundred thirty pounds, bro. He's, he must be a fucking unit, innit? He must be a wham. Um, his um, his fancy vehicle was tracked through GPS by the New York State Police. Uh, absolute shock. If you're gonna go shoot your parents, you gotta think of a better escape plan than that. Than jumping in the escalator they bought for you, like, huh? Um, it, with GPS in it. Hmm. Um, through GPS by New York State Police, who contacted the Mawaha Police Department uh, to help when the suspect reached the area. Sources says authorities nabbed Dino without incident just after 2 p.m. Sources told The Voice. He will remain in custody in Bergen County, charged with as a fugitive from justice, pending his extradition to the Nassau County. The outlet reported his charge in New York will, rep will ultimately depend on the condition of his parents. Okay, cool. So if they recover or not, then they have to go from there. I wonder if... Maybe it's a thing for my American friends out there. I wonder what happens in a crime like this. If he shot both his parents, but they both recover and they both don't want to press charges, can the New York State still kind of, um, can they still charge him? That can still happen, right? I'm assuming. Even if the victims don't say they want to press charges, can you still go to court for the crime you did and serve some time? I don't know. Again, I'm, it's unlikely, but, you know, um, I'd imagine Mediterranean, um, you know, um, America, sorry, Italian-American families, especially like this, they go through some wild shit. It, it wouldn't surprise me if they come out of this, uh, again, fingers crossed they come out of this okay and they kind of say that they understand they forgive their son or something because it's their only son they don't want to see him rot in prison. Do you know what I mean? I've seen stranger things have happened, so I wonder if they um, refuse to cooperate and, you know, they don't want to press charges, can the police still go after him? Let me know in the comments if you know that. Let me know. Um, it continues here, it says Dino works as a personal trainer according to Daily Voice. His father owns a Brooklyn based Empire Transit Mix located at the Massive Avenue. That state records show a worker who answered the phone for the company was completely unaware of the boss had been shot. Bloody hell, the voice man, snitching already. Um, this is definitely shocking news to me, he said. Dino's mother owns a dance studio, Stars on Broadway in Lynbrook. A record show, a phone call to the studio was not returned. A woman outside of Dino's building in East Williamsburg who identified herself as a best friend told the Post that he's definitely not a violent person. So again, looks like two regular, loving Long Island parents who dote after their only son, let him live at home until he's 29, give him his own wing and his own section in the mansion, give him an escalator drive, right? Like, just give him anything that he needs, probably pay for the flipping roids that he does. And then as a thank you gift on Christmas, he decides to shoot the dad in the back and then shoot the mom in the head. Merry Christmas, isn't it? Merry fucking Christmas. It continues, I'm not up at all, she said, he's my best friend, I don't really want to talk about it, she added before driving off. A work in a building called Thomas says he's a great guy. So again, everyone that works at this company um, has great things to say about him, despite them also being given a chance to say stuff off the record. So again, that goes to show that he might actually be a decent dude. He runs a tight ship, but you know, fair, fair boss, um, jokes to be around, pays you on time, lets you get extra shift, you know, is understandable if you want to take time off. And then he's probably the kind of guy where you kind of see his son coming to work and you can't figure out, because that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes really good parents give birth to really shitty kids. And sometimes really good kids are parented by really shitty parents. It just is a luck of the draw. It's just unfortunate that way. So maybe sometimes he comes to work, this Dino guy, and the staff are like, how the hell did they give birth to such an entitled piece of, you know, bloody blah? Um, but it's just one of those unfortunate things, isn't it? It's just a random thing of life. It continued here, says, um, what can you do? The worker said, I'm from the South Bronx. Shit happens every fucking day, man. Not much I can do about it. He did what he had. He did what he did, what he felt like he needed to do, I guess. <laughs> it's probably someone from the streets like, look, people die every day, B, as Cameron would say. Um, he's a great guy, man. I wouldn't expect him to do something like that. The parents' neighbours were shocked that such incident could happen in their quiet, affluent neighbourhood. Of course, it's always the ones that you least expect. It's never people that look like me, actually. You absolute donuts. But again, if I look like them, I parked outside someone's home uninvited and call the police on me but the actual person that's murking everybody is the son of one of these guys like you know you couldn't make it up um they're lovely people the quote says here i don't understand the whole thing a resident told the post they're very they're very nice people you couldn't ask for better neighbors that's all i can tell you they don't bother you they keep their house beautiful they talk to you and say can i help you with anything they're very fine people i can't have a bad way to say about them so literally everybody they've spoken to on the record and off the record has reiterated what great people these people these parents were and um 
how shocked they are the whole incident which doesn't really paint a good light for this guy called Dino in it it's not really looking good for Dino um no one's kind of come out and basically said he's a great guy to work out with he spots you amazing in the gym he knows just how to apply the right syringe to your buttocks to give you that little push you need <laughs> This is yeah, I feel sorry for them. What else can you think of? I feel very sorry for them. I hope they survive and come out of this. Another stunned neighbor who said he was not in their home at the time of the shooting said the um the seldom saw the married couple out in public and had never seen their son. We saw the husband and the wife rarely. The husband was fixing stuff in the yard and brought packages over and stuff. We are very surprised, we are scared, we feel bad for them. And then I think the final update which I just saw recently is that I think he's rejected to be extradited, which I don't really understand. I guess because he he, he drove into another state, right, when he fled. Um so uh raise his right for extradition so what well, it says here the bodybuilder subjected to the so suspect of the shooting of his parents at their sprawling long island mansion has waived his right to an extradition hearing in new jersey and will be sent back to new york to face charges okay so i guess if he wanted to escape and be um clever he could escape to new jersey and maybe their laws there are different he get a different sentence i guess but i guess it shows that he's got some level of what's that word called um some level of remorse that he's waived the right and has been sent back to New York to kind of, you know, face the music over there. But yeah, man, crazy, crazy times. And again, I, I don't know. I think we've all been in very contentious arguments and tense arguments with our family members, especially our parents, especially our extended family. But I don't think I've ever got to a point where I wanted to legitimately shoot either of them in the head. It's just not something I've ever crossed my mind. But if it's ever crossed your mind, then let me know in the comments. And if you've ever wanted to <laughs> pull out a strap and murk your mum or dad, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. No judgment, of course, made. No judgment, of 